Creating NFT collections is hard, especially if you don't have any programming knowledge. For the past months, we worked very hard to offer you a solution to finally make creating NFT collections easy. So let's not waste any time and create our first collection. After you sign in, you will land on this screen. From here, we click create and are now able to assign a name, subdomain and description for our collection. After you generate your collection, the name will appear here and here and the description will appear here so actually this is still a hidden item so there is no token id behind our name back to our collection let's fill out the fields now we're prompted to upload our trade files but before we do that let me show you the folder structure Every layer has its own folder and every folder contains only images. Since we are using two versions of our model, which is male and female, we created separate folders for each. All right, let's upload our trade files. Give it a moment to process our files. Now this is where we can set up our trades. We can create different configurations and change the order of the layers. In this case, we have a female and a male version of our model. So let's delete all the male trades. Now for our male version, we create a second configuration. Now we drag the male layers inside of our newly created configuration. And order our layers just like you would in any other software. Our item count will add up to the total amount of items inside our collection. For now, we will just choose to create 50 each. Now on the left side, we see the trades we just uploaded. We can also see that our aura has a black background and actually it's a video, but we will fix that later on. Also on the left side, we have our list view. In here, we can select specific trades to filter our preview. And we can also see how often our trade appears inside the collection. Let's generate a preview. All right, looking good. Now, when we select an item from our collection, we can see which trades it has, as well as the rarity scores of those trades and the amount of items with this trade. Now, this actually is just a preview picture. So to download the full image, we simply click the download button. Oh, and there it is already. When we generate our final collection, it will be randomized, which means that none of the items you can see here will make it into the final collection. If you wish to keep an item, however, simply click the Keep and Collection button. Your kept items can be seen and managed by clicking on Kept NFTs. Actually, let's remove that again. Now back to our aura, as we remember it's a video, but I don't see it anywhere. Let's fix that. So back in the trade setup window, select the settings for our aura and we're going to change the blend mode to add. 
let's generate a new preview and there we go well not yet as you can see our aura was made for a special outfit and it doesn't work with other outfits to fix that we will open the rules and down here in the first field of dependent traits we choose our aura there we have it and in the second field we choose the outfit it was made for now we add and save generate a new preview as you can see even though the aura now is used with the right outfit all of our female models now wear the same outfit we only have a single aura in our traits so it is treated as a required trait fixing that is very easy though let's find our aura there it is and from here we just need to click on toggle blank now we have a blank trait in our aura layer and we can check if everything works all right that worked just checking if everything is correct we probably don't want our aura to be very common and to change that we have two options first we can simply change the rarity for our aura to say epic and now our aura should appear less often to verify that let's go to our list view and from here select our aura now it's much easier to see how often it appears in our collection we can see it appears less but it's still random let's make it more predictable So for our second option, we are actually able to specify the maximum number of times this trait can appear in our collection. So we click on this little button and enter say 5. Now our aura cannot appear more than 5 times. But since our rarity is still set to rare, it can appear less than 5 times. So when we set the rarity back to common, we can see now there will always be exactly five items having this trait. Now let's also download a preview containing our aura. There we go. And as we can see, it's actually a video. Since we put a video file in, we also got one out. Our software actually combined the frames of the video with our trade files. Now, if we wanted to upload unique pieces, we could do so here. Let's close that. So our trade setup is completed. Everything is looking good. So let's create our final collection. This usually takes half a minute to a few minutes, depending on the size of your images, which in our case is rather large. And despite what you might think, the size of our collection does not make a difference. So generating 500 items takes the same amount of time as generating 5000 items. Great, our collection finished in just under two minutes. And to actually see our final collection, we just click on the IPFS tab. And here it is, our final collection. This collection now is actually already pinned on IPFS, so displaying all the pictures might take a while. Now, to see the full version, we can just click any of those pictures and... As you can see, it will open the image in a new tab. And looking at the URL, we can see it is indeed already pinned on IPFS.
Now let's also look at a video from our collection. If I can find one. Apparently I am blind. Oh, there it is. Great. Now we probably want to have a contract for our collection as well. So let's create one. Choose standard NFT collection. So on this page, we can configure our contract. We can use delayed reveal. We can use whitelist. We can set separate dates for public and pre-sale. What we enter there now is not important. We can update this later on. So we are able to set a pre-reveal image and video. However, setting a video is optional. So you can just use an image if you want. But if you decide to use a video, it will be shown on your item page. And the image will be shown on the collection overview page. If you only use an image, it will be shown on both pages. Let's just fill out the fields. Your supply is actually locked. This gets calculated from the number of items you have entered in the trade setup window. Reserve supply are free token mints, which can only be minted by you, since you will be the owner of your contract. You can use it for giveaways and promotions and for your team. Royalties can be set here, as well as the address where those will be sent to. The treasury address is the address the funds from the contract will be sent to once you call the withdraw function. And keep in mind, this address cannot be changed anymore. Before deploying your contract, please make sure that everything is correct. Now hit publish. Now MetaMask will pop up asking us to accept the transaction. This is the actual deployment of your contract. And once accepted, we just have to wait for the transaction to be confirmed in the blockchain. That was fast. And as you can see, the underlying website has changed. Now this site contains functions to manage your contract. So everything you would need later on, you can find here. As example, you can update the pre-sale and public mint start, and you can also add people to the whitelist. Let's try to mint from our reserve. Here we can enter any address we want. The tokens will simply be airdropped into the wallet. All right, let's set that back to one and hit mint. Confirm the transaction in MetaMask. And we can already see the token in our inventory. As we can see, there is the description we have set when creating the collection and also the name, as well as some random string generated by OpenSea because apparently this name is not unique. Now our item page shows the video we have uploaded. And when we go to the collection overview page, we see that here, it uses the image. And since we are the owner of the contract, we can also edit our collection here. And there you go. That's basically your finished collection. If you made it this far, you might be interested in our membership NFT. We have explored some awesome features today, but some of those features are only available when holding one of our adjustment legends. Those features include the creation of animated NFTs and freemans. With the NFT, you will also be able to create unlimited collections. In future, we will also have exclusive website templates for our pro users. We are currently still minting and to get your hands on one of our adjustment legends, simply visit our minting page. As you can see, we created our minting page by exclusively using our own platform. In the next video, we are going to explore how to create your own website. Until then, stay tuned.